Hello, and th um, this is another hammer editor tutorial by me. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about realistic lighting um, and making a sun. So, in so um, <clears throat> I just used one of Valve's sample maps they put up on here for reference. Uh, let me delete this. We don't need this. Okay. Now, I added a little pillar here because I'm going to show you about casting shadows here. Um, <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure about the end shadow control entity, so I'm not going to do anything with that because I haven't ever used that before. I've had no need to. Um, but I'm pretty sure I should use it. Anyway, let's get started. So, um, here's just a little room with a, with a, a fairly big pillar in it. So, we want to add a sun. <clears throat> so, go to your entities, and in the objects, search light, oops, light environment. And place that up in, like, the top corner. Okay, what we, what our goal is to cast a dramatic shadow over this pillar, over this pillar. So, but we want it to act like a sun. So we're gonna double click the light environment, and where the pitch roll y'all roll is, click point at, and focus on the pillar, and let's click right there in the middle on the corner. Apply brightness. Let's make it a yellowish orangish. Make it make sure it's light. That will make a realistic glow to your map. So there we go. You've just made a shadow which will basically cast on the player right here. Um, that'll make a dark shadow right here because it's casting from the pillar. Um, uh, now some other things are this floor right here has a little bit of a reflect reflective property to it. Or let's say you add some glass. It's gonna. It, you want it to reflect light um, in a realistic manner. The way you do that, um, see, it doesn't do that um, with without what I'm about to teach you. It it it's just glass. It doesn't have any reflection properties to it. So what you do is you go to the entity and you type in N Q map. Place one. Um, a little a little above where you want your reflect reflectivity to be um, I'm gonna place it kind of here around the map just somewhere there and <clears throat> actually see it takes screenshots from all six sides from the four sides left right forward and backward and then up and down so you want to kind of put it right here so it'll make it look a little bit better. It's mostly going to be reflecting up since it's the ground. But put it at level with the player's eyes just about. And that gives you a reflective property to all your reflecting objects. And hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. When you get into the game, it's uh, sometimes like the Citadel metal texture I've noticed will be very glitchy when you do this. So you have to do this. Um, when you re before you release your map, this should just uh, stay in the map properties before when you release it, as long as you don't compile another version of the map. Type this in console. Once you type that in console and press enter in the developer's console. Um, it will automatically take screenshots, take six screenshots for every cube map you have in your map. And then you run the map again, and it will have some realistic looking things in it. Um, so a few other tips. Oh, wait. Um, by the way, if you actually want to be able to see the sun, like the flare, you go to N sun. Put Place it, like, right in front. Actually... Uh, I'm not sure if this affects anything, but I'm just going to put it right behind Sun. Double click it. And you want to copy the pitch, pitch yaw and roll. 
copy it from the M sun from the uh, light environment and place it in the N M sun and then you want to get the brightness let's find the sun color go to your light environment and take the brightness copy it go and get sun color and paste it there apply and that's all you have to really worry about and you have a cool sun here now a little thing about uh, other lights um, if you want to make a realistic looking light you have to go let's make a prop static and I'm gonna place it right here um, <clears throat> see you, ha you always want to have a prop to show that some that something is actually emitting the light um, the only time you can bypass this is really with a dev map um, because if you're using a texture map you don't really need to because you know that's just the way they do it so we're gonna search we're gonna search light and just wait for them all to load and I'm gonna get the cage light here I'm gonna get the cage light here the on one the white one click OK and apply now I'm gonna hook that cage light up to the wall in the top in the top view rotate it get it straightened up and hook it right up onto the wall there and now here's a few cool ways you can make some lights I'm gonna show you one which is the less realistic way and then the more realistic way the less realistic way is light just type in light there and add it there to the and line it up in front of the cage light double click it and never really have a white real like a regular white light usually uh, lights are never completely white like this they're usually a moderately yellowish light yellowish orangish kind of like that that's usually how they are and I'm gonna and you apply that and you're basically done that's all and you can change the brightness through here this last one 200 is a is a fairly good but you know dip a dim light would be like 50 or something then appearance you can change flickers strong glowing pulse uh, fast strobe slow strobe now on to the more realistic way uh, you're gonna get a light underscore spot and place a spotlight right under your light and basically what this will do is it'll cast a light just like that on your wall and you change the color and its brightness and its appearance and you're done that's basically how you um, do a more realistic light so there you have it there's a pretty simple Light, lighting tutorial for you. So yeah, the end.